Okay. Well, like, you're, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah, you're the OG. So you, uh, you are our first ever guest. Our first ever guest. Yep. I'm really glad I'm it was a vet, you. Man. I'm a vet. I know how this goes. So, um, when we talked to you last, um, I don't think you were married yet. Is that true? No, I, I was not married yet. I was not married yet. And now was you're I married yet? Was I even engaged yet? I think so. I think I was. I think I was. Yeah, because I think we talked about how I, the save the date thing was on my fridge and yeah, well, how right, you guys right. were very well dressed. I don't know yeah. why I remember that, but evidence, evidence, random. Um, and then also you talked about how um, you were just kind of getting into your music some more. And I think mm -hmm. sometimes when people say things like that, they're like, you know, sometimes pass and they really just played video games, but uh, you've done some <laughs> really great stuff. Yeah. So um, I know I, I want to play part of the single in a minute. Yeah. But um, the no control single, but before that, um, I think you're working on a new project because also part of the first first episode that you did, you you said that maybe someday it'd be fun to um, that that a lot of your band members, your dads played together as well, and that it might uh -huh. be fun to get them together. And maybe you're yeah. doing a project that incorporates some of that. Yeah, yeah. Me and uh, I actually mentioned in him in the last talk, my uh, cousin, colleague, I'm Peyton. Um, he just spur of the moment came up with this concept. Well, we had came up with the concept before, but he woke up. And got to it book studio time called about 15 musicians and got everybody to pretty much say yes and uh come in uh, it was a song he already put put out we just kind of uh did a live twist to it and uh it it happened like last well a couple weeks ago we uh we knocked it out in the studio it was magical man it was all top-notch musicians um a lot of people we didn't include yet it's just one song uh, we were just kind of hitting the ground running. So, um, yeah, we've got that started, actually, and uh, kind of honing in on a, uh, on a on a way to uh, make it a series and tell our story in St. Louis, um, kind of tell about the creative ecosystem, ecosystem in general, and, um, and how we kind of are trying to fight through it and uh, get, get out of the way of ourselves. Um, a lot of that is... Um, an issue in St. Louis. Uh, there's so many issues, but we want to bring up real honest things that um, we encounter as creatives. And um, you can watch us push past them while playing live music. So um, it should be it should be pretty fun. We're uh, we're in the works for the second one now, and doing cool. some editing, doing some editing for that recording. So uh, should be should be great. I'm excited for it. And you mentioned that that maybe even you're shooting some video, like. It might become yes, a documentary yes. thing. Yes, it will be a, a video thing after this. This first one, we were just uh, we wanted to get the song down. Um, we, were, we were testing our, our chemistry, um, but it was great. And so yeah, we'll be capturing stuff on film. It'll be in a, in a in a documentary style. So it should be great. Sweet. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, I can't wait to watch that. Maybe, yeah. Maybe we need to do like a viewing of it yeah. here when you guys get that done so oh um, yeah oh yeah okay and then so moving on so you've also been working on your own solo stuff you have several outlets root mod this this yeah. other project we just talked about but you're also doing some solo stuff can you talk about that yes uh so i was doing some, i'm doing some solo stuff um i talked to uh Courtney orlando and he likes to it's a great way to refer to this i have a coffin sitting you know, the big metal coffin sitting in my office it's called my computer and uh it just has ideas that i love ideas that i've done for other people um but also ideas i've i've just created that everywhere just sitting there um so i, I got I've, I've probably been fed up for some time now but i got fed up enough um you I, you saw i changed they did the name change i became sonic soldier um, I was just kind of pressuring myself to, like, just let go of whatever I'm holding back and release music. But it was due to a surplus of just of 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 time that I put into creating music. Um, but to get it to the world is obviously a challenge for many, but uh, I had to do it. So um, it's Bianca. Bianca's featuring on that. She's an awesome writer. Um, she actually let me. I asked her because I'm nice. She let me have the song. 
because it could have went both ways. It's 50-50. It's like, hey, no, I want this for my project. And she's working on a project as well that I'm uh, mostly producing. We're getting some other producers on it too, but I, I'll be kind of exact producing. Um, but she has a surplus of songs, so she let me have that one. And, um, and you know, I'm just trying to have fun. And I do so many, so much versatile. I do so much music. Um, a lot of times I'm scared. I'm like, whoa, gonna, he's all over the place. Um, but that's my reality, man. I'm a music producer, so um, this next single is, is going to be not going to be in the same um, under the same umbrella. So it'll be a little bit more familiar what you might assume that I would do. But um, okay, but yeah, it's uh, it's been fun, man. It's a, just kind of force myself to be free um, of whatever opinions may be, whatever the take on my songs may be. Um, but once you learn how to ignore that feeling, it's great. So I'm just trying to keep it rolling. I I also saw like a a picture that you all took maybe like to promote this newest single that we'll play here in a minute, No Control. And you uh, you were holding your keyboard. And yeah. <laughs> I laugh because we've joked for a while that you don't have a case for that keyboard. Maybe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and so it's just like, oh, it even works for the promotion. Like he doesn't even need a case. No Control. <laughs> Get this kid. Get this kid. He doesn't have a keyboard case. Oh, wow. Okay, here. I'm That's gonna, funny. I'm going to play funny. part of the song. We'll be right back. Here's No right. Control. Challenged on the average. Can't get it past me. Only makes me better, better than ever. Balling on a budget. Trying to stay above it. Gotta pay my taxes. Fair start harassing. But I got a feeling. Feel it in my spirit. Things gonna get better, better than ever. Give it to the Father, let Him be your guidance. Mama say just try him, get it off your conscience. It's time to chill, child. Trouble comes you around. Not that I'm saying it won't have you beat down. Looking for friends, why? That ain't enough, so what you gonna do now? Don't act the fool, huh? That just ain't right. Have no control of your life. See how to make this seem nice. You just look right. I learned that thing in the fight. Definitely the rock of my life. And I just might turn up and turn on the lights. Watch I make it work right. Deep in the night. And it's just trust in your Lord and do with all your heart. Cause I'm losing your mind and what you lost. The firm and the rock in your career cost. Cause I trust the ball. Here we go. Let you know. No control. What goes on. What we give. What we got. Going up. Cool. Um, so no control. Can you talk a little bit about where that song came from? Oh man. Um, the song was actually written a little before it was probably a little bit before COVID hit. Um, well, parts of that song, I would say, I would say the chorus was written a while ago. Um, and it was really Bianca genius, right? Um, she usually comes up with the really cool catchy stuff. Um, and when she sang it, it was, I mean, it's, it's part of our realities. I know growing up, um, me and Bianca were always, always kept our head up high, um, and, and like tried to stay active in activities as, as children. Um, and didn't really show our, our sadness or our frustration. Um, but we went through a lot growing up with a uh, family, with my father, um, and addiction. And, uh, but we learned early, um, that being tested is a part of life and glad I learned that early. So I won't be confused why, you know, the world's coming down on me as an adult. Um, not that it's not frustrating, you know, but um just to learn that like you don't have any control about what happens to you um and many people can attest to that um but to claim it and get used to it and um center your heart and your mind around the fact you have no control god god has in his hand um i think that was something that i want to speak of i know i love things i love to speak on um but to do it in a way with uh with some little swag on it and um, a little angst on it um, because it's not like a cool, fun thing. Um, it's, it's real life. So uh, yeah, it was just, it's about having no control, real simple, real simple meaning. Um, just, yeah. We, and then COVID, we're all in a pandemic right now. So 
I felt like it was a good time. That's why I made yeah. up the first song. It was just like, hey, let's get this out. Like people need to know they have absolutely no control over what's happening. It seems we might have a little bit at times, but we absolutely don't. So, um, yeah. so kind of on that no control thought, um, I was, um, oh no, we might have lost you. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh there we go. Um, but on the no control thought, so a story about that that I wondered if you could kind of uh, uh, bring us into. So I I was actually talking to Russ Moore about this. So the Kingdom Sessions concert, was that like even, that might've been almost two years ago now. Yeah, that, it was. Yeah. And so um, so the, the Kingdom Sessions album came out and there were several of us that had been, you know, hearing from Russ that he was going to do this for a long time. Mm-hmm. And then the thought was to bring show in from Atlanta, show Baraka. And mm-hmm. and then many of you all, right? And yeah. uh, and so I remember being at the rehearsal, and you all, uh, Root Mod, were was going to be the band, mm-hmm. and that I I mean it was one of the most pivotal moments in a in a thing I've ever been a part of. Is like Show wanted to play us tracks, and you all had learned the songs, and I, I don't know if I can do a good job of of painting the picture well, but it was just one of those things where in my opinion, you and, and your fellow players, Thomas, and mm-hmm. you know, you could have all just left like mm-hmm. he doesn't, you know, yeah. and, uh, and instead what you did was you, you, you played over the tracks and you all played better almost than, yeah. than the tracks, the pre-recorded tracks. And I just, so, so no control. And, you know, you guys are in the situation that you, you didn't have control and talk about how you all got that character to respond <laughs> like that. Oh man, that was, that I would say that was upbringing. Um, I, I was going to search for a deeper answer, but I, I would think that I would say like even my first time playing the piano in front of people was like, so vulnerable it was so like my dad just told me to come here and i was like whoa my heart dropped because i knew what he wanted and uh full pack church you know what i mean and, and it's just it's not a big of a deal i'm not you know but people are staring at me because they don't know that i play and just at those moments that was like my first moment um and then after that it just stayed just as scary like it didn't really like, like the moments didn't get they got easier but they were all not when you were ready, not when you expected it. Um, so at that point, you had to circle your mind and prepare for the unexpected, which is still scary. Like it doesn't, it doesn't feel like, oh man, it's cool. I can be nervous and not know what to do, and I'll be fine. Um, but it's kind of like you just don't have an option. It's either like you're the guy that like run, walks off, or you do it. And um, it just came with. I, I would definitely say upbringing. Um, I probably speak for a lot of us in the, in room mind too. It's like we just grew up. Once you do it enough in front of people, and uh, especially if you if you if we did rehearsal songs, I think we were kind of expecting like either or. Um, so we list, you know, I rehearsed them at varying levels, but uh, yeah, just kind of being prepared for like that that moment that makes your heart drop. You know, like oh gosh, I got to do that. Um, just kind of expect it to come no control you have no control yeah um and then uh, uh, we talked about this a little bit on your full episode too but like in the midst of that it was a really you know for me at least it felt like a a, kind of the pressures on live event you know that kind of a thing Uh um and I remember some things going wrong like the tracks weren't working on the laptop and and Thomas you know and, uh, and I just remember being blown away because I've been around this kind of stuff for years and the amount of prickly people that I've come into contact with, you know, like mm-hmm. on stage during a thing or whatever. And you all were just not only gracious, but like smiling. Yeah, you got to. Kind of willing to joke around. Talk about that. Man, I I think that comes from this natural. I think for me, I it, it, it's a chemistry thing. I think when we are like, wow, this is ridiculous. Or like, this is going south. The best thing to do at that moment when you're in front of hundreds of people to thousands of people, you just laugh. I mean, you just got to smile because if you don't, it just becomes more panic and more like, uh Oh, they're in trouble. They're in trouble. And that's the last thing you want people to be 
thinking and speaking on when something doesn't go right. Um, and it also just takes away that that seriousness, man. Like we're not superheroes up there. You know what I mean? Like things happen to us. We get nervous. We get like, so best thing to do is smile, figure out how we're going to do this in a matter of seconds and move on. Um, Thomas is uh, wonderful at that. He was controlling the tracks. He's, he's super smooth. I always say he's like, he's the old vet that's really young. He's been, he's been playing on stages since he was like seven, eight. Oh, seven, eight years old. Okay. I'm sorry. Oh, um, he just, he's, he's been, he's been through moments and then, you know, we've had our share moments of like, Hey, we, we just messed up. Uh, yeah. you just gotta, you gotta bounce back. It, it, it's worse when you're, when you melt under it or just like laughing at yourself. It's the best way to. Cool. As long as you fix it, don't laugh at yourself and then not fix it. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. Well, thanks for tracking with us. I mean, oh, you know, you, again, you're our first guest and it, it's just fun. Um, I, I know we're creating vastly different things, but it's fun to kind of track with somebody and, and uh, yeah, I, there's nobody I would rather do it with. Oh, so dude. thank you. Love you, Simon, my brother. Thanks. Love you too. All right.